In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use a new feature that we've recently added for selecting a specific iOS review version to be used by Apple's review team for reviewing your in-app purchase products. This is going to ensure that all unapproved products will be visible to Apple's review team while they're doing their review for the latest version of your app, allowing for a smoother review process. In the past, we were hiding all unapproved products from regular non-admin users in your app and only displaying those unapproved products to admin users. The intent was to allow Apple to log in as an admin user when they are reviewing your app, while still hiding those unapproved and therefore unusable products from the rest of your regular members. However, during the review process, we have seen some Apple reviewers testing apps by registering new accounts on the register screen in users' apps. This means they are logging in and testing the app with a fresh user account instead of an admin account, and so therefore they're unable to see any of your unapproved products, and then they have some difficulty in approving the app release. So we've added this new setting to solve this issue. To get to this new setting, go to Buddy Boss App Settings and then In-App Purchases and you'll see this new option for iOS review version. We are still hiding all unapproved products from non-admins in your app, just like before, unless the app being used is the build that has been selected in this iOS review version dropdown. This dropdown is listing all of the app builds that you have generated in the past, filtered to just those that are for iOS and our release apps. When submitting your app to Apple for review, if you are using in-app purchases, you'll want to select a build from this list for Apple's review team to review with. If your app has already been published, make sure to select a build version that is a higher number than any of the builds that have already been released to the public. By doing this, for the app that has already been released to the public, only admin users within that app will be able to see unapproved products. The Apple review team will then review this higher app version that you've selected from here, which has not yet been approved and released to the public and this version will allow Apple's reviewers to see all of your products, regardless of the user type they are testing from. And then later, once Apple approves this app version, it will then become available to the public, and all unapproved products that were part of that app version's review process will also get approved at the same time and become available to the rest of your users to see. Make sure to deselect this option after your app has been approved. Otherwise, if you create any new products, they will automatically show for all users who have downloaded this app version, even if those products are not yet approved by Apple. And then sometime later after this app version has been approved, if you then want to create even more in-app purchase products, Apple will just need to approve those new products as well. You can use the exact same process. Just set this to a higher version number than is available to the public at that moment and submit the new build version to Apple for review.